This video is to show you how you uh, locate an image for uh, using a ray diagram for a converging lens where the object, in this case the candle, lies outside a distance which is more than twice the focal length for the converging lens. So what we do is we use a ray diagram much like we did with mirrors. Uh, the rules are somewhat similar. Uh, what we do is we have a ray which we draw parallel to the principal axes and a ray coming in parallel uh, to a mirror will pass through the focal point on the opposite side just like that. Uh, another rule, or the second ray that we can draw that's useful, is a ray which uh, passes through the focal point on the near side. We'll come out parallel to the principal axes, just like this. And uh, another useful ray which you don't need to draw, but uh, works well too, is one which comes right through the center of the mirror. A ray coming right through the center of the mirror passes through the focal point undiverged. Now, if we take a look, uh, right where these rays converge, that's where the tip of our candle flame would be. So our candle would be located like this. If we shine it on some real paper, the light is actually converging there. So that's going to form a real image of the candle that we could shine on a piece of paper or that would shine on the film if this was a lens from a camera. Uh, what we see is the image is uh, inverted, it's real, and it's reduced in size. So let's work with the math and see if uh, the image location is predicted by uh, the math formula or our ray diagram matches what our math, our math formula is. So we take a look at uh, 1 over the object distance plus 1 over the image distance should equal 1 over the focal length. This is going to be 1 15th plus 1 over Q equals 1 over 5 centimeters. That gives us uh, 1 over Q being 1 fifth minus 1 fifteenth, or 3 fifteenths minus 1 fifteenth, and that comes out to 2 fifteenths. So 1 over Q is equal to 2 fifteenths. If we invert that, Q should be 7.5 centimeters. Let's see how that works. Uh, here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and a half. Looks like it's uh, pretty close to being right on. The magnification is found from taking negative Q over P. So negative Q is going to be negative 7.5 divided by 15 centimeters, and that is negative 0.5. So our candle should be about half the size of our object, and that's 1, 2, 3 squares, and our object is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 squares high. So that seems like that's working out as well. The negative sign, again, indicates that our image is upside down. Okay, it's inverted. Um, and that's how you do a ray diagram for an object outside twice the focal length.